Ian here from America Prep. Thanks for tuning in and watching. Hey, I'm actually in my uh, little sewing room, uh, study room here. Uh, it's my, my wife's study room. There's a lot of books and stuff all through here. Um, anyways, um, one thing being a prepper, a survivalist, or just man, you should be able to do and know is how to sew. Um, which a lot of people are kind of like, oh, sewing is for, for women. It's a, it's a woman thing. And no, it's not. You really need to be able to know how to sew, uh, make your clothes, or at least functional garments, uh, bags, and gear, and whatnot. And so, in my free time, and when I'm not prepping or shooting or making other videos, I like to uh, actually make whatever else. And so, I'm actually uh, in the process of making a little carrier for my uh, pepper spray here. This is going to go on my sun visor. Um, I'm going to have one on each sun visor in each of the vehicles, just because it's like a you know, less lethal defense uh, mechanism. Um, so, what I've got around here is several of my objects. And with that being said, I've got my sewing machine here. I've had this for uh, five months. Got it for Christmas from my mother-in-law. Um, thing is, it's a Singer uh, Simple. It's just like a simple one from Walmart, but it works very well. Um, I have a little money pouch I've made. This is like seven inches long. Um, got a zipper, obviously. And on the inside, I don't know if you can see it, there's a another zipper down here for, uh, you know, coins or whatever. You don't really want to be just throwing out. The only bad thing is that there's a sew line right there. It's not perfect, but um, I'm still working on my zippers um, and how to get those perfect. I've been sewing my whole life, more or less. My mom taught me how to sew when I was young, but I didn't really do a lot of zippers. Uh, a lot of my stuff is just seams and, and you know, simple stuff. Buttons, whatnot. I, know I can do buttons like crazy, but zippers, I'm still working on zippers, how to get them perfect every time. So, um, I've got a, a zipper on the inside, zipper on top, that's uh, 7 inches by uh, 5 inches, so I can really stack the money up in there thick. Um, it, it works, I actually, that's where I spent some of my money. And then this turned out, this was going to be like a money pouch again. This is a I'm going to be a pencil pouch now, uh, like into a three ring binder. Uh, basically, just same kind of thing, you know. I didn't have an inside zipper, but it's a pencil pouch. This is 500D Cordura. Um, I use this stuff as water repellent, so I use this stuff on quite a bit of, of my materials or my uh, pieces that I've made. Um, just punch some holes and put some uh, rings in there. What do you call them? Dang it. Um, grommets, uh, that way it can not be pulled out, and I had I reinforced it with a half a dozen or so stitches here, um, just to uh, make sure it's stiff, I mean, that's a good seven, uh, six inches, seven, seven deep and about six inches here, so you got plenty of room for, you can make this a money pouch or a pencil pouch or whatever, it's pretty cool, it works pretty well, you can buy the same thing at Walmart for Three or four bucks, and this is just you know experience. I got more experience with the zippers. Um, did pretty good on that zipper, I think. And then up here, um, this is gonna be a tool bag. This is actually a leg off of a old pair of ACU pants. You know, I buy. I like to buy these kind of um, you know pants and stuff from garage sales. A lot of times, you know, got old members of the military will uh, sell their gear because they spend a lot of money buying them because they have to buy their own gear and stuff a lot of the times and so I'll go ahead and you know give them a couple dollars for a pair of pants and this was like an extra extra large I think let me see what size it is <laughs> these were really really big yeah large long inseam is 32 to 35 inches and the waist is 35 to 39 so there's no way I could fit these on the you know, 33 to 34 and waist and a 32 length and so uh, I just took one of my legs and Right here, this is the uh, pad pocket. This right here kind of wraps around, and then there's a pocket right here. Um, it's got a zipper, obviously, and two handles. And this will be my. I'm gonna put my tools and stuff in this um, in the back of my Jeep. It looks kind of you know girly or whatever, and it is off center. It is kind of a, a weird. Uh, not, no, it's not. It's not square because the pant leg isn't square. But um, it works. Uh, it holds up. I've got uh, heavy duty upholstery thread, triple stitching on the insides, 
uh, double stitching or you know zigzag double stitching and then triple in other places um, it, it works very well and so like I said I'm still working on my zippers and getting them right I'm not a perfectionist on my zippers but it is what it is and uh, this is a little secret I have here not really a secret but uh, just another old hobby I like to add to the project so yeah thanks for tuning in and watching you guys be safe